In this video, I'm going to be making a one of the female pandas from the Kung Fu Panda 3 video. And this is part of a Kung Fu Panda collaboration that I'm doing with my YouTube friends. Do be sure to check out all the other videos in the collaboration. You can find the links to these in the description box below and on screen now. What I've done is baked some little chocolate cakes and we're just going to pile these up together. Now I've just made little four inch ones because I want to keep my cake quite small. I'm just buttercreaming in between. The top cake I've not levelled off, I've left it quite rounded but that's fine because our figure's going to be a little bit rounded at the top. And I've got a board that's the same size for the bottom so we'll just put a little bit of buttercream, chocolate buttercream on that and we'll stick our cake to that like so. I'm just going to rest it on another board for the time being. We'll start to carve the cake a little bit. Mine's quite soft, so you might find that you need to put it in the freezer for 10 minutes just to firm it up a little bit. So we'll take little pieces off. Now, we're going to narrow it a little bit at the top, and we're not going too far down. And we want to leave a bigger bit here where a belly's going to be, and we're going to take it under a little bit here. We don't want to go too much underneath as we've not got any internal support in this cake with it just being small so it needs to hold its weight up okay okay so it's a very rough shape and what we're going to do is cover that shape then in buttercream you can use chocolate ganache if you prefer so it's buttercreamed and now what i'm going to do is take in a little bit of plain white fondant we're going to roll some little pieces that will form creases the bottom of a dress. It's a bit soft is this because it's been in my hands a while. So little teardrop shapes and we'll just push these to the front of the dress. Don't worry if you get the buttercream on them at the moment, that's fine. So we've rolled out a piece of pink fondant. So we're going to cut a strip that's the length of the body. So I've got my strip cut and I'm going to look for where the centre is down my dress. I'm going to place that onto there. Like so, and we're just going to push it between those little bits of fondant that we put on there. Give it a good push in place. So if you want her to look like she's got extra creases in the dress, just take a modelling tool and just push a little bit deeper into the dress, like that. So next we're going for a red for the main part of a dress. Okay, so I've rolled my red, and what I'm going to do is trim a neater edge across the bottom. So we've just got a line. It's a bit bigger than my board. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this now around the cake. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it now a bit more to the size that I want. So I'm just going to trim it so it comes down the side of the pink. I'm just going to use scissors. You can use a knife if you prefer. And what I'm going to do is just trim this extra top bit off the top. Give it a push down in place like that. So I'm just going to again push into my creases with the modelling tool give me deeper lines. So I've cut two long thin strips of purple fondant and what we're going to do is we're going to put these down the front of the dress. So starting at the bottom and bringing that up to the top. If it doesn't stick just add a little bit of water underneath it to push it into place. Next we're going to use turquoise for the belt and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it in front half and back half rather than one long strip today. So taking our turquoise strip, we're going to put a bit of water on the back. I'm going to put it so it just comes just slightly above the tummy. And what I'll do is I'll trim it off at either side. And then when we add the back one, we'll join it up from here. So taking white, we're going to roll lots of small little balls for the pearls hanging off a dress. And we're going to keep doing this till we've got quite a few. So I'm going to put a little bit of water where I want my pearls to go so that they stick in place. You can use edible glue if you prefer. And we're just going to push those pearls, trying not to squash them, in place. So once we've got the pearls on, we're going to want a little bit of red again. Not too much. We're going to divide it into two. And we're going to just make some little tassels. So just roll so you're getting a bit of a teardrop shape. And we'll flatten it a little bit at the bottom. Do the same with the other one. And then we're just going to put in some little lines at the bottom for the tassels and we'll stick these on the bottom of each of the pearls and we're just going to take two really small balls of red and we're going to put these at the top of each tassel 
So taking a bit of edible metallic paint, we're just going to put a little bit of gold on that little red ball that we've put on the top of each tassel. So just a small amount like that. Using the gold again, we'll put some little dots all over the body. So we'll keep doing this all the way around. Okay, so now we're going to finish painting the pattern with a little bit of white food colouring. I'm not making mine look the same at all as the pattern on her. Just creating random little shapes and lines. So I'm almost making mine a little bit flower-like. So next we'll paint a little bit of detailing on the belt. I'll just take the turquoise food colouring, which is the same as what I've dyed the fondant with. We're going to water it down a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just paint on little diagonal lines going across the belt. Okay, so for the head, I'm going to use a polystyrene ball in the middle, so it means you're not going to be able to eat the head part of the cake. You can do it with cake inside the head or a Rice Krispie Treats, but I'm just trying to keep the weight down that's pushing on the cake. Now, I've put a kebab skewer through this one, and I've measured it so it's the same length as my cake. I'm going to take some white fondant, I'm going to use this to put around our face. So I'm just putting a little bit of water on the back of that fondant, and I'm going to squash this gradually now onto the polystyrene ball, pushing it around until we cover that ball. So once you've got it covered, work on smoothing that out. So we're going to pinch together, pulling upwards to give her a little bit of a nose. So pulling this bit out. And what I'm going to do is just push slightly above the centre of where her eyes would be. And just down a little bit between where her eyes will go. And then we'll push just up just a little bit. And we're just going to put a little line part way down on the mouth. So we want a little bit of black now. And we're going to roll a really thin piece that will go just on a mouth. See if we can squish this in here. So just a little bit under the mouth. So we've rolled the black fondant nice and thin. I'm going to cut two circles. They're not huge because she doesn't have huge black patches on her eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push up one end. So that we've got a flatter end there. This will go towards the cheek. Do the same with the other one. And we're just going to push our modelling tool then into the eye slightly to create a bit of an indentation. Next, some black for a nose. Start with a bit of an oval. Push a slight indentation in the top of it, just slightly, and I'm going to cut two little slits out. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm just going to cut two little corners off down here. And then this middle bit we're going to pinch nice and thin in the middle. And we'll get a bit of water on the top of the nose, and we'll just push this onto there like that. So we want a little bit of pink for her lips. I'm just going to roll that nice and thin at either side. So chunk here in the middle, nice and thin on either side. I'm going to push that against the top of her mouth. Now she's going to need some eyes. So we want two balls of white. I'll just put a little bit of water in the eye sockets. And I'm going to push these into there, like that. And we're going to paint the purple into her eyes, just with them being quite small, it'll be quite fiddly in fondant. So we've got a little bit of purple food colouring that we're just going to paint in. So now we want two really tiny black round dots that we're going to push into the centre of the purple. And I'm just going to use the back of my modelling tool to push that down into her eye like that. And then we want two really tiny white dots that we're going to stick on the black. So we just need a really small amount of purple for our little eyelashes. And we'll roll a nice long thin purple piece that'll go around the edge of our eye. So I'm just going to push this in place with my paintbrush. And I'm just going to pull it off there. See so if I can cut it off so it's got an angle on the end. And we'll cut off another tiny little strand of purple. Stick that next to the one to the other one. And just repeat that then on the other eye. So I'm just going to put a small black piece just under a chin and what we're going to do is we're going to push the head into the body. Now taking some black 
we're going to roll a piece that will go around the back of her neck. So we want it to be thinner at either end and a nice chunky bit that goes around the back of her head. We'll put a little bit of water on that and then get that pushed into place. So just play around with it until you're happy with the positioning of the black bit. So I'm just putting some little lines in now on the edge of her face on the white bit and the black bit. So we're going to take a bit more black now for her ears. So I've got a round ball, I'm just going to push my modelling tool into the centre to create a little ear. And then we're just going to stick these on her head. So next we want a small little piece of white that's going to go at the top of her head for a little hair piece that she wears. And we're just going to put some little lines running across it with the modelling tool. And then we'll stick that in place on the top of her head. It's getting a bit sticky. If you need to put more lines in, just push those in when it's on her head. I'm just going to put a little piece of pink around the bottom. And then we want a little yellow flower on the edge. So I've got a bit of yellow that I've cut a little flower out of. And we're just going to push that flower, oh, if it wants to go on, onto the side of a hair piece like that. So we're going to make a little fan for her next. So I've got some modelling paste this time, which is a little bit firmer than my fondant. You can use um, fondant if you want, but I tend to find this dries much harder and much quicker. So it'll give us a firmer shape for our little fan that we're making. So we're going to roll it out quite thin. Taking a round cutter, we're going to cut out a circle. So what we're going to do is cut a couple of little lines, but we're not going to cut completely into the middle. We're going to leave a little bit there, and then we're going to come back out again, cut out two triangles, like so. And then we're going to try and cut this little bit here with a little bit of a curve on it for our basic fan shape. And I'm just going to indent some little lines using the back of my knife now. And I'm just going to take a smaller cutter to just not cut through, but just to make a little indentation of a little curve there. And again, we're just going to use the back of our knife to put some little indentations in for the bottom of the fan. And we'll just add some more indentations. So these ones, we're just making a little bit deeper, or a little bit wider. So I'm just using the back of my modelling tool. Make sure it stays in its shape. So I'm going to use my purple food colouring mixed with a tiny bit of water and we're just going to paint onto our fan. You might need to pick it up to get the very edge. And then we're just going to paint little dots and swirls on to create a pattern. Again, it doesn't really have to look like anything in particular. Just putting on random swirls and patterns. And then just add a second colour to give it a bit of depth. And then we'll paint on a bit of a butterfly. And we're going to take a honey gold colour to paint on. Okay, so we'll leave this to dry. I'll just give it half an hour, see how hard it's gone. It doesn't need to be rock hard, it just wants to have firmed up a little bit for us to be able to stick it onto our cake. So I've got some pale pink now that we're just going to roll out and we're going to make her a little bit of a collar with. So we'll just cut a straight edge to start with, divide it in half, and then I'm going to narrow it down use these two pieces, I'll just narrow that down a little bit more and I'm just going to trim the top corner off each one and then we'll just round that off a little bit and just using the stitching wheel we'll just put a little line along the edge of the collar and put a little bit of water on the back and I'm just going to put that then on the bottom of her neck put the next one on and then I'll show you sorry I realise I've done it from the wrong angle for you to be able to see properly so if I try lift that up, it's just added like that. And then what we'll do is we'll put a piece of purple that matches this bit on the front that comes round to join in. So when we cut the piece of purple, it wants to be the same width as the piece you've already got on there. So if you prefer to measure it, that's absolutely fine. I tend to just guess, but it does mean that sometimes they don't match up exact. And what I'm going to do is take a small piece to just put in this gap here. So I'll just put that across there so I can work out what length it wants to be. 
and we'll cut that off to the right length and we'll push this in and we're going to push it in so it just comes just below the pink that we've put on so it's literally just gone underneath that pink bit now this piece once be long enough they will go all the way around the neck so we'll bring it round back of the neck and it'll come round to meet the front and we're just gonna snip it off there obviously make sure you've got a bit of water in place to hold it on so we'll just cut it where it meets the other purple bit and then I'm just going to give it a little rub to see if we can get rid of the join. So we're going to cut a piece that's a little bit wider at the bottom than it is at the top. I'm going to hold it against my cake so I can see how long I want it to be for the arm. So she hasn't got really long arms, they're quite short and stubby. So we'll cut that so it's just a smaller piece like that. And then what I'm going to do is to pad the arm out, obviously she needs an arm. If you want to use all black for underneath a sleeve, you can do. Um, I don't have a lot of black left, so what I'm going to do is roll out a little arm in red, and then I'll just use some black for the hand at the end. So she's only got quite small hands, so we'll roll it so it comes to a little point at the end. And I'm just going to pull off a tiny bit there like that for her hand. So this will go on the end of our red bit and then we'll be able to stick this onto our body. Give it a good press down, not so hard that you push through to your cake though. And then we're going to put a sleeve over the top, so putting that on and over. Pushing it down at the back. She can have quite a big baggy sleeve at the bottom, that's absolutely fine. So I've cut a long thin pink strip that's going to go around the bottom of this sleeve that we've put on. So measure it around your arm and then trim it to where it wants to be and then we'll stick this in place with a little bit of water. So once you've got your arm on we're going to paint it in exactly the same way that you did with your dress and then you can paint a bit of detail on your pink bit of your sleeve as well. If you've got a photo or a picture to look at it makes it a little bit easier when you're painting as well. So I've made her a second arm this time we're going to try and put a bit of a bend in it because it's going to come up to her face and we're going to put the fan on her hand. So we've just put a bit of water on the back of that. I'm going to push that firmly into place. If you make the arms too big and chunky you might find they're a little bit heavy and that they want to just fall off. So if you are finding they're not sticking just make them a little bit smaller. Then we're going to take our little fan, see where we can get that. So play around with it till you get it in the right position. So you want to try and get the bottom bit between her hand and her finger. And what we might need to do is just put a little bit of royal icing behind it to hold it in place. Okay, and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of royal icing on the back where it's going to come into contact with her face. And we're going to paint up the arm the same as we did with the other one. So once you've painted her up, this is her finished and I've just placed her on a little board that I've made. I have made a quick video for the board if you want to have a look at that and I'll put up a nice finished picture of it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other videos in the Kung Fu Panda collaboration. You can find the links to all the other videos in the description box below. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.